whenever possible. And cleanup efforts across Rockford are also underway. One local church making sure to love its neighbors through the storm. 13 News Today anchor Maggie Polsey shares that story. Well, oh my gosh. For Pam Luttrell, Monday night storms brought an unexpected obstacle. This beautiful uh, pine tree that I had had split, came across my yard diagonally. My driveway was blocked and my son uh, had an interview this morning at 730 and we were frantic. But thanks to the help of dozens of neighbors and community members lending a helping hand. <laughs> Everybody was, you know, cutting and dragging the limbs and everything out to the curb. It was it was bad, <laughs> but I mean, it was a real group effort. And uh, I think I need to buy everybody a pizza that pitched in and helped. Hundreds of trees down all across her neighborhood, as well as around City First Church, which is directly behind her backyard. After surveying the damage, church leaders put out a call for volunteers to help clear away the mess and give back to their community. When something like this happens in our community, we have to join together. And as my grandfather said, many hands make light work. With a lot of division in the world and a lot of things tearing us apart, I mean, what's one thing we can do? We can all help. I mean, we're all in this together, right? In the midst of a difficult year, Latrell says we can get through anything as long as everyone pitches in to help their neighbor. Do what you can, even though it didn't affect you. Um, it really helps everybody. For your 13 Weather Authority, Maggie Polsine, 13 News. City First Church says it will continue cleanup efforts as long as there is still a need.